Hey there, it's Kathy with Be Creative with Kathy. And um, in today's video, I'm gonna show you this. Let me see what it's called because uh, I always forget and I don't wanna tell you wrong. It's called the Banquet of Love Hybrid Embossing Folder. Now, it goes with this stamp set, this um, Love and Happiness stamp set, but as you know, or I hope you know, that the mini catalog, the January through June mini catalog is discontinuing it's only good through the end of june and some stuff has sold out which includes this stamp set here and i discovered that this morning so i apologize i'm going to still use this stamp set but i think you could substitute other stamp sets for this stamp set but what i really want to show you is this some um, hybrid embossing folder and what it can do and here this was one of the first things that i bought when this catalog came out and i can't believe i haven't even demonstrated or anything but i was sending out an anniversary card and i had to send out an i thought of you today card instead of an anniversary card and that was like come on kathy you have this beautiful set you should be using it for anniversary anyway so let me show you first of all i'm going to show you <clears throat> the cards that i made um, I started off with this one, and I think this one might be my favorite, is this card right here. And can you see that shimmer on there? I used this, um, what is this called? The Subtle Supple Shimmer paper that I've demonstrated before. This is another thing that's going away the end of June, and this has not sold out. So if you want that Supple Shimmer paper, you got to make sure you get it now. But look how I did the embossing, the hybrid embossing on that heart right there, even with the shimmer paper. And then this is just another heart that's in the die set that you can cut out too. But look how pretty that is. And then I thought that has a lot, a lot of shimmer, especially for me, I'm not really a shimmer blingy kind of gal. Maybe, maybe I am, maybe I'm not. And then I tried to do something a little bit more elegant. So this one, you can see the embossing better on this heart because I just use cardstock. I did use that blingy paper or the supple shimmer paper for the little heart and then um, cut those two hearts out like that. And then the last color I tried look like this. This is done with just yellow. This is so saffron and this is, I believe, crushed curry. But there again, and I used that blingy paper there too. So let me show you how this embossing folder works. First thing I did, well, and then let me keep going to explain why today's video, why I don't want to change my mind on today's video. So I'm going to give you a sneak peek of a new paper. This is with the Splendid Day Suite, and this is really pretty all foil paper. Can you see that? The whole thing, now the backside is just a simple, a simple pattern like that, but the front, or maybe it's the back, I don't know, is all foil paper and I wanted to see how the foil paper went through that embossing or the hybrid embossing too. So Splendid Day, that's coming out in the catalog you should have gotten in the mail. It's in this catalog. I know Stampin' Up's catalogs are crazy right now. We have the <laughs> January through June mini catalog going out, next month the July through December and I can't show you what's in this one and Celebration, don't forget about that too. But it's on page 65, the Splendid Day um, sweet and this is the designer series paper so we're gonna use this designer series paper to make our card today and see how that foil paper works um, through the hybrid folder okay so let me get the dies here so the dies look like this and just like I did in my little sample card there I have already cut out that same foil paper just the little heart there but we need this heart oh and we're gonna need this one again so I'm gonna just set him aside. Now you see that this um, die set, like I said, you could use with a bunch of different stamp sets, has these two tag sentiment kind of things. Look at, you could do something like this. This is using all of just the um, dies and you could fit anything word-wise in there. You just don't want to wait because like I said, if the stamp set already sold out, the dies are going to sell out pretty soon too. But there's lots of stuff you could do with this die set. Okay, enough talking. Let's get to work. Okay, I have my, wait, he popped out when he wasn't supposed to be thrown back in there so I don't lose him. Okay, so I have my heart here. And when you're using this folder, the um, die fits right in there. You can kind of feel it like slip into position. And then somewhere here, here it is, I have a piece of foil paper. Now I've cut this down to about three inches by three and a half. And I'm going to lay it now lay that over that die because I don't want the whole thing I just want this one little piece so here's um 
just something you should always know. When you're embossing something like this, you want to make sure, so it embosses the right way, that you see the pattern that you want to emboss and the Stampin' Up! logo at the same time. So see, this is up and I can see this, so this is going to emboss the right way because we would hate to have it emboss this way, although that's a pretty pattern too, but I really want that pretty bronze here, brass, whichever one it is, to show through. So I'm going to set this aside. Let me bring in my machine. So here's my cut and emboss machine. I'm only going to use plate number one and plate number four. I'm not going to use any other in my sandwich today. I'm going to lay my folder with the um, folded edge here going in first. They say that's better for your folders. I haven't had much trouble with my folders ever breaking, but maybe it's because I follow that simple rule about the folded in going in first. Then there's the plate number four, and we're going to run this through, and it's kind of a tight squeeze. Might make some cracking noise, but that's because it's doing all of its work right there. Now, honestly, I have my fingers crossed that I didn't lie to you because it never fails when I think I know what I'm doing. Something happens because don't tell anybody, but I am totally human. But I was right. Yay! Because you look at now this piece. Now look how pretty that piece is. It even has the stitching on the outside. And I don't know if you can see that really pretty embossing, but I'm not going to use this piece. I'm going to use this piece. Look how pretty that is. It's got that stitched, or at least that, not the stitched along the, it's got a soft <laughs> a border around the edge and then that embossing in the center. And that foil embosses just as nice as the regular cardstock. Okay, so let's put this away. I'm gonna just set this aside. Let's stamp just a little bit. I did have a piece here of shimmer white. Oh, here it is, that we're gonna stamp on. And I'm gonna use Mossy Meadow just because the colors in this suite were um, soft seafoam green, fresh freesia, and others. So the fresh freesia goes with the soft seafoam. That's what um, the base is going to be of my card. So like I said, the um, <laughs> Mossy Meadow ink goes with that color. la di da la di da -dee. But I'm going to stamp this just here on a scrap piece of paper like that. And then just lay my little heart over there. See how cute? You can use any little sentiment here to cut that out. I am going to use just a little bit of washi tape to hold it in place. Here's a quick reminder that if, <laughs> as I growl, if you purchased the um, magnetic plate that Stampin' Up! has now, I guess, recalled because it has some issues, just know that you'll get a refund. You don't have to do anything you'll just automatically get a refund. If you have any questions, be sure and reach out and I'll answer. I can help you with all of that stuff too. But that's why I'm using the washi tape because my magnetic plate doesn't work anymore. And if you got the magnetic plate, be watching for that refund. Okay, so now just to die cut my little heart, I'm gonna go ahead and use platform number one, the adapter plate number two. One of my icky cutting plates is on the bottom. And then I'm gonna just place my little die and my paper there, and then another clear cutting plate on the top. Like that, and then run that through. And now we have all three little hearts here for our card. I believe we're done, I think we're done with almost everything because I've done a lot of work in advance. We have our three hearts there. I've also taken this um, painted texture folder, and that's where my soft sea foam piece is here, already textured and ready to go. I have just a basic white, it's thick basic white for my card base, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a fourth. Now all the measurements will be on my blog, becreatedwithkathy.com. There should be a link somewhere, depending on where you're watching, because as you know, I do my videos, Facebook Live, and then I go post them. And look, <laughs> my base is cut the wrong size. Hang on, we're gonna have to do some work here. Let me find another. Here's some more thick Whisper White. Let me find my paper trimmer. And let me cut 
a new base. I took that out of my scrap bin and didn't even measure it. So let's, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put it at four and a fourth. This is a full sheet. So this is the eight and a half inch side up here. I'm gonna score it first at four and a fourth. And then I'm gonna take the 11 inch side up here and cut it in half at five and a half. So now, easiest way, I have two card bases. And now <laughs> it's the right size. Okay, there we go. That looks a little bit better. Well, really, it looks a lot better. We're gonna fold that one in half. Let's see if this is the right size. Yes, it is. And while it's still flat, let's go ahead and stamp the inside. I just have a quick sentiment out of that stamp set. I'm gonna ink it up in that mossy meadow. Let's just stamp it up here. There we go. And now let's finish our card. One more time with the bone folder up here at the top. And I'm gonna use liquid glue. No, I'm not, because my liquid glue is not here either. I was stamping all day yesterday and I did not put anything away. Shame on me. What a mess. We'll just use some stamp and seal. Lay that right here on the front like this. Now, one of the new trends, and trust me, I resisted for a long time, is the ribbon behind, like behind something like this. So we're gonna go ahead, and really now, I absolutely love that trend. So this is another sneak peek. This is the ribbon that comes in that Splendid Day um, um, suite, and I can't decide if I wanna use the green, or if I want, I think I'm gonna go ahead with the green. Now I'm gonna take and call what I, or tie what I call a long lanky bow. Because usually I don't make my bows near this large. But I want it to be just a little bit bigger than my heart. So, ooh, look, it came out just right the first time. How often does that happen? But let's go ahead like this. I'm gonna pull it tight. It doesn't matter how pretty it is on the underneath, because or the where the knot is, because we're gonna um, cover that up. But I wanna make sure that down here and down here at the ends of the bow look good. If that made any sense, it probably didn't make any sense. It did to me, which is really scary. And I'm gonna cut those tails. So now I have this long, skinny bow. And really, if you look, they're not even the same um, size of bow, I guess, whatever. The, the, <laughs> the bow part isn't the same size, but it doesn't matter. Like I said, we're gonna just take it and lay it here on our card. And I think it looks good about there. Just a little bit of adhesive and lay that down so it's somewhat centered. That's a little bit too far. That looks pretty good. Then we're gonna take this um, heart here and I'm gonna put it on dimensionals. Now, so my dimensionals go around the knot because the knot is gonna have enough layers, I guess, or room underneath it. I'm gonna just put edges of dimensionals. So I'm gonna take my dimensionals like this and just cut these edges and lay those. So this side, we want a long one along here, like that. And then maybe another one up in this opposite corner, like that. And then my ribbon should fit right through there. And that's gonna hold up the tummy of my heart so he doesn't sag and hold him flat. And I think that looks good. Let's just go ahead and take those off. and put that right there. And look how pretty that ribbon is behind that heart like that. Okay, then on this one, I only wanna put a dimension on this side, then I'm gonna put a little bit of adhesive on the other side that will hold up, hold on to that um, heart that's already on dimensionals. There I get my dimensionals, or my, oh, now I'm gonna stick them to my desk. Oh my goodness, there we go brother Kathy all thumbs today and then just a dimensional over on this side and now it should lay flat this way Look how cute that is and then that white heart we're going to do the same thing to him we're going to just put a dimensional over here see if I can be more graceful with my um, adhesive this time but not getting my hopes up I have to t tell you a funny thing too. I was uh, 
talking to my daughter this morning, laying in bed, and I said something about today being Sunday, and she had to remind me that it was Monday. So yesterday must have slipped by, and I'm a day behind. Maybe that's why I'm all thumbs today, is because I still think it's Sunday. But, yeah. But then looky, there you go. Look how pretty that is. And then just like on this card, I'm going to grab my gems here, which I left at the other table. And I'm going to just put three of these iridescent rhinestones here. I'm going to just use my scissors just to give it a little bit more elegance. We'll just put one right there. That's the largest size. I'm going to take one of these mediums and put him down here. And then one of those little ones. Here we go. Like this. And just put that right there. It's a little high. And take him off very gently. There we go. Put him a little bit lower. I don't know. It's something like that. But there you go. So there's that hybrid folder that I think is absolutely beautiful. I think all my cards turned out and I have really nice anniversary cards for all my friends and family now. So there's all my cards. Here's the other card, which I could totally turn into an anniversary card just by changing the sentiment right here. That would be really pretty. So there you go. You'll have to let me know what you think. Um, give the hybrid and both bossing folders a try. They do um, make some really beautiful projects. Thanks for watching. Have a great week, and I'll see you back here on Friday. Bye-bye.